to assume that somebody is pregnant and then ask them. I've had cases before where I'm like, hmm, this person looks a little pleasantly plump with thankful to God for maybe beautiful to what I am. Whether she looks like me or not, she's gonna be beautiful. She's gonna have a beautiful personality, a beautiful spirit, and an amazing soul. And I just know it. <clears throat> We're almost at the 30 week mark and I don't know if I'm supposed to be excited or be absolutely terrified. Obviously, still shortness of breath. I feel like she ate up all the space in there. Am I obsessed with anything at the moment? I don't think so. For like two months I was obsessed with popsicles. Now I'm fine if I don't eat a popsicle or two or three or four. Completely fine. So I still have a few left in the fridge from the last batch definitely feels like a ball feels like i've used up all the space inside there i was going through um kind of like a period of sleep regression but now we're sleeping again for five six and seven hour stretches if we're lucky maybe even nine depending on the night that i had but um this is what she looks like from the side she is going she moves a lot an absolute lot um i take food with me to work at nights because i get hungry at nights because nights are my days and um what else i redid my glucose test from the last time that i came on here i passed it that was great i had a growth scan she's growing really nicely in the right percentile for where she is um i have an appointment monday should be getting a shot, even though the pharmacy did not tell me that they received the, sh the, the vaccine yet. So, or just an injection, because I don't know if it's vaccine. Mm. Maybe it's vaccine. But um, yeah, this is what our girl is looking like. I'm still able to work um, like I normally would. My position has switched from part-time to full-time, even though I was working full-time hours before, because you just get, but um, yeah. There's that. Is there anything else I would like to update on? She moves a lot. I said that already. Um, now I really have to take my time to do everything. I feel like I'm waddling because I literally cannot even. Like, I'm doing the best I can, honestly. Um, considering the fact that it feels like she just used up all the room in there. I'm so excited for her to be here. I haven't washed anything for her yet. I haven't packed a hospital bag or anything yet because the room is... A total mess and i'm trying to get it cleaned up but it's kind of unsuccessful at the moment so we're working on that i bought some detergent to wash your clothes that's somewhere downstairs so maybe i'll get that today and then we'll do some washing tomorrow i don't know we'll figure it out but this is what the girl is looking like at 28 weeks honestly they said she should be tripling in her growth so i've been using my oil on my stomach so far i don't have stretch marks but this is what i use mother special blend this is the one that i saw on tiktok and also the one that i found that does not have like a smell that bothers me so we're using that and the girl is growing definitely looks like i have a ball in there still can't believe that i am indeed pregnant but here we are at almost 30 weeks and i still can't believe oh yeah Twenty nine weeks, <sighs> boy. Do I feel like the time is flying by? A whopping twenty nine weeks. Extremely out of breath when I do anything. Not really. Uh, right now, I'm really loving chicken. Um, she's huge. <sighs> we did a growth scan. She's like two pounds, a little over two pounds. Um, her head is down, way down. She's very active. Um, I think she loves nighttime, but maybe I don't notice that she moves in the daytime because I do work at night. And so I'm sleeping during the day, but she is huge. I've officially gone to that point where I feel like she has taken up all the space inside of my stomach. 
There's literally no space left for anything. So again, I've been ODing with this every day. And I've been dropping a bit of vitamin C serum in there because my older daughter, I remember after I had her, my stomach was dark. And so, um, I mean, right, oh, my neck, extremely dark. I'm pretty sure you guys can see, like it's darker than the rest of me. And like right now it's one of my most insecure features. It's one of the things that makes me the most insecure, but it is what it is. Vitamin C is beautiful. Um, I'm so grateful. The other night I was at work and I was talking to one of my coworkers and she was talking about like the, just the struggles of getting pregnant and I, and I instantly felt so blessed but also so guilty because I wasn't trying and you know here we are but I'm so thankful to God for my beautiful daughter whether she looks like me or not she's gonna be beautiful she's gonna have a beautiful personality a beautiful spirit and an amazing soul and I just know it <clears throat> but um yeah bumping 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 Next week I'm gonna be 30 weeks and I'm literally gonna have 10 weeks left. I don't know what to do with myself. Nobody prepares you for this. I'm so excited. Wow. And I've been keeping it consistent with this dress because I want to be able to see the difference, which I have so far. So Well, 31 weeks and we're at the OBGYN checking on baby R. She's moving around. She's hungry. I'm hungry too. We're both hungry. <laughs> 31 weeks of baby R. I still don't have a name decided. Shocking. <laughs> um, she is bumping. I didn't do a video last week because one, I was extremely tired and just tired and two i just couldn't find the energy to get up and do anything and so i'm like this is just gonna be one of those weeks where i don't have anything but in addition to that i felt like is there gonna be a huge difference between 29 weeks and 31 weeks if i don't get a picture 30 if i don't get one of this at like 30 weeks probably not the mom brain is at um extremely thirsty extremely extremely thirsty right now i'm obsessed with pink lemonade and i have been for about three weeks or like the last month i have been and so i've been making a little mixture i make it very watery so it's not like too sweet because i don't want to you know but i've been obsessed with pink lemonade and it's been hitting every single time very cold i drink it straight from the container when i go in the fridge because it's just mine and we just know this and i don't think anybody else cares but i've been so obsessed with that i recently purchased my popsicles but i haven't been eating them the way how i naturally would have before um out of breath everything i do as usual i'm really pacing myself more now because now i'm realizing that when i stand for an extended period i my ankles swell up like a good four hours of consistently standing and they will swell up so that's fun i've been wearing my crocs to work just because the crocs are really comfortable they're easy to slip on and like take off and they're just really the most comfortable thing for me in this season and so i've been wearing those and um outside of that i don't know that much has changed at all i'm supposed to get a shot i've been going back and forth at the pharmacy can't get it because they don't think it's required at the moment so fun but um yeah i've been communicating with my manager and like my um unit representative at work this week to see like what paper what paperwork i need to get together um within these last few weeks before baby gets here and so you know i have that all sorted out i think i sorted it out today not that i remember most of the information but it, it doesn't even matter i was jotting it down while she was talking because that's another thing i have to write it down or i'm literally gonna forget or i have to set a reminder but this is what my little bunny rabbit is looking like at 31 weeks my neck is so dark and it makes me so self-conscious but also i'm growing a human being also this last month i wouldn't say i've been so sensitive but 
a lot of things will trigger me. And what I find that has been triggering me this last maybe week or so is that I've posted on my Insta stories. I've always used a filter because I like when it's like light and bright, not because I don't feel confident within myself. However, right at the moment with how my neck is set up, yeah, we're going to use a filter for that because that's what it's there for, to filter things out. No, whatever. And, you know, um, one, two, three people. Um, two people messaged me congratulating me and one person messaged me saying that, oh, you look pregnant. And I've been, I just feel like people have no decorum because one, I'm glad that it's just now at 31 weeks, almost at the end of the road, people are noticing. Now that I was hiding my pregnancy, I just wanted to enjoy my pregnancy to myself, by myself, for myself, without people ruining shit for me. Because this is why black people can't have good things, because people just ruin things for you. So um, when, when they messaged me, I left them on read. One of the girls on sent her messages and other two are still there. And I'm just like, people really have no decorum because for you to assume that somebody is pregnant and then ask them. I've had cases before where I'm like, hmm, this person looks a little pleasantly plumped, but I've never said anything. I would go to my friend and I would probably say, oh, don't you think this person looks pregnant or whatever the case is, but that's between me and my friend. I'm not gonna go out and ask them because the person could be sick. They could have had a miscarriage. They could have just had a baby. For you to assume that they are pregnant and ask them is a wild ass concept to me. <laughs> we have no decorum in this generation. Anyways, this is where we are. So grateful and so thankful to my body that we were able to grow her for as long as we've grown her for so far. And that I'm not down in the dumps. I'm not sick out of my mind. And, um, you know, been bodying this pregnancy like i said i've really been eating this one up and if it wasn't such a thing i'd have probably considered doing this again but parenting department <laughs> my oxtail body and die are 32 weeks okay and we're currently ready to, to go to the nail salon for a little pamper day. Not off today, just woke up. I've been up since nine and I decided that I wanted to go do it, but of course it didn't open until 10. So now we're here, she's fed, she's ready. I'm gonna take a popsicle with me and we're gonna walk out there to go get our nails done. This is what we currently look like. And the toes are not that great, but um, Let's not mention that. Okay, so we're gonna go. Today we are 33 weeks. 33 weeks of growing my little baby. And we're gonna go check on her. We're in all luck. I can't tell if she's super big or not, unless I'm wearing that olive dress. 34 week appointment for baby today and today she's gonna be monitored so like strapped up to monitor her little heart rate and like a little clicker for like every time she moves and stuff like that i am a little bit late and i did wake up early it's just these days everything takes a little bit longer but we're going the and my my tops thank god i don't have like very long left because i have bought no maternity clothes throughout this pregnancy and i don't really plan to but i am going through or i have gone through 90 percent of the things that could still fit me right now maybe this week i need to put on my my um textured u part unit because this one here, I literally just straightened my hair. Another reason why I'm late and it's already kind of puffing up. And today's 70. Imagine a day where it's 90. We barely made it to this little appointment.
but um, that's today's appointment. We did a sonogram for my foot. It's in my side. And I could literally feel it so bad. Hi, y'all. 35 weeks today, and I'm telling you, I'm out of breath. I literally just woke up because I knew that I had this appointment. I came home and said I'm going to sleep for an hour. Kind of work out, but not really because I somehow feel more tired and I slept on my break. This is where we are. Extremely out of breath. Everything I do, my feet are swelling. Everything I do, my blood pressure is a little bit elevated. So we're watching that. Um, what else? I don't really know. I'm not even really sure. I feel like I can't eat as much as I would have before. She's so big. I really wanted to put on the dress, but I'm ready for my doctor's appointment. And I feel like this might be the only burst of energy I have for today to be able to do this. So, here we are. Getting there. Almost there. Almost done. I'm so tired. I'm officially at the get this baby out of me stage. Like... I feel like I can I can barely breathe. Eviction notice right right now. I feel like I live here. I'm always here. Literally running out of clothes that can fit me. Tops that can fit me. With this bump. But we're almost there. Almost, almost. Like almost. For the last two weeks, I've been joking with my doctor about taking the baby out. I wasn't joking. I was stressed. I'm like, get her out of me. She just told me that I'm being induced in two weeks. I'm stressed out. I don't know what to do with myself. I didn't expect that. Today is June 5th. June 15th, and we're at the OB, and I'm hoping this is the last one. We're going to get a swab. Check on baby. And um, I'm gonna find out when she's coming out of me. And I'm starving. We're going through it. Oh, Baba's lopsided, but whatever. Mm -hmm. 